Hi everyone and welcome to Optima's Introduction to Scripting video course. Now the powerful scripting language can be used in a wide variety of tools and features found throughout the software. So the purpose of this video is to show you examples of where they can be used. We'll go into individual subjects in greater detail in, uh, in other videos, um, but uh, I want to start off by saying that you, you don't have to be a programmer to learn how to do this. Um, basically, if you can write your criteria in, uh, in simple English, you shouldn't have too much trouble um, converting that into a usable formula for the software. Um, we've, we've tried to make it as easy as, uh, as possible um, in the script editor, um, but, uh, but having said that, you can uh, write as many complex scripts as, uh, as you like. Um, but let's go ahead and see some examples of where um, scripting can be used. So scanning is a, is a very popular one. Um, basically, it's a true-false script. So in this example, you can see the blue text there where the close crosses above moving average bars equals 20 and uh, then these are the results of that scan and you can see the last bar has crossed over the uh, that moving average now similarly uh, a show bar and um, that displays on a chart um, when certain true conditions have been met so the green arrows that's a, uh, a bullish gap and the red is a bearish gap where the uh, current high or or that bars high is below the previous day's low You'll also see the um, analysis tile tool in the bottom right there. So that'll be green when uh, the day's uh, or the current bar uh, volume is above the 20 period moving average volume. So you can see that's true um, for, for GMG. But if we scroll down the watch list, then you can see the next one. That's, that tile has turned false because you can see the, uh, the moving average there is below the, uh, the 20 period moving average. Show view. Um, there's two types of show view. Um, the, the green that you can see on the chart there, um, that, uh, the view gets placed below uh, the, the price chart in its own window uh, with scale, uh, similar to an RSI or volume. And that's just calculating based on, uh, on a formula that I saw in uh, Stocks and Commodities magazine, I think, and uh, converted that and, and put it on a chart. The other uh, show view is the yellow area on the, on the chart. That's a true false condition. So I basically uh, wrote a, um, the formula which was where the, 25, uh, the 12 period moving average is above the 25 period moving average. And where that's true, uh, shade that in yellow and then that can be dragged over the price chart. Show plot is similar to a show view, but the main difference is um, it's placed on the actual price chart, not in its own uh, window uh, and scale. So that's the, uh, the the green line at the top there. That's the 52 week moving. Uh, sorry, the 52 week high. Uh, the red line is the 52 week low, and the orange is the uh, midway point between the two. And the other tool that we have there is the chart element um, that allows you to place in the value of any tool or indicator in time frame um, on the chart. So if you didn't want to draw the line, you can just have it. Um, on the chart background. So 2132.82 is the 52 week high for the uh, S&P 500. Now watch list, you can add um, your own analysis columns. Um, but as you can see here, I've got uh, certain performance measures. So over one month, three month, 12 month, etc. Um, percentage below the 52 week high. I've got weekly values. It's very easy to change the script from uh, to change the time frame or to specify the time frame of what you're what you want to see uh, true false conditions again like a show bar or, or a scan it will, it'll, uh, it will show you where certain conditions have been met and that last column a bit more complex uh, that that's using if statements to assign conditional values so depending on uh, on your criteria uh, it will return a certain value um, that you that you specify custom bar colors. So here you can see this chart of IBM. The green bars um, are, uh, occur when the closing price is above the, um, the blue 50 period moving average. And also for professional services clients, uh, they have access to chart headers, which are very useful when producing reports because you can, you can put um, any criteria up there, including, um, so I've, in this example, the percentage uh, from the 200 period moving average and whether the 50 
uh, moving average is sloping up. And as you change charts, um, everything will get updated and and uh, and will be ref reflected when you change um, tickers. Market intelligence charts. Is, uh, we've got several varieties of those. So on the left, you can see we've got um, column chart, and this is showing the uh, the spider sectors, um, year to date percent, three month and one month as columns. Uh, on the right hand side, it's a bubble chart where the x axis is the RSI value, the y axis is year to date percentage change, and the size of the bubble is the average. Um, daily volume um, for each of those uh, sectors. Similarly, the size charts, um, this is of the universe of, uh, I think it's the top 50, uh, ASX top 50. So 36 are currently trading above the 100 period moving average, um, but only nine had um, strong volume yesterday, above average volume yesterday um, in this example. Um, but it's a great way of visualizing uh, the, the state of the market. Um, similarly, breadth measures. Um, breadth, basically, if you can create a f criteria which has a true-false condition, um, you can count up the number of times that happens in a universe and then use that as a, express that as a percentage. So um, this example, it's a 34 period exponential moving average um, where it's sloping up for the S&P 500 companies. So for every, uh, as you can see, 50.2% of the S&P 500 companies currently have a moving average that is sloping up. And you can see that's dropped off from almost 90% um, just a few weeks ago to, uh, to just above 50. A couple of other important um, uh, features uh, where you can use scripting is the back tester so you can uh, create your own entry criteria based on uh, on, on any um, tool value or indicator value along with exits um, as well and uh, this is similar to the signal tester so again for professional services clients um, you'll have access to this, this powerful signal tester where you can create your your ideas or if you if you want to know how um, uh, certain uh, events would have panned out based on uh, based on a formula then you can run a, uh, a test on on a universe of stocks um, and just to see what actually happened um, when those signals uh, were fired so um, so that's just a, a quick overview of, uh, of some of the features where uh, scripting can be used so Hopefully that wasn't too daunting. Please uh, click on uh, the, the other videos in this course and you'll, you'll learn how to quickly and easily um, create your own without hopefully too much trouble. Thanks very much.